Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we started our discussion on searching in NumPy arrays and I demonstrated the use of where method. In today's lecture, we are going to cover the search sorted method for searching in NumPy arrays. So let's get started. So search sorted method performs binary search in an array. It returns the index at which specified value should be present in order to maintain the order. So the thing is, it assumes the array to be sorted. So let's move on to the coding part. Let me just write Python 3, hit enter. So here, we are going to use search sorted method. So search sorted method performs binary search on the array. So we need a sorted array. So binary search is always performed on a sorted array. So we need a sorted array just we like we do in binary search. So array name is equal to, sorry, first I have to import numpy. So import numpy as np, hit enter. Now let's create an array in which the elements are present in ascending order. Or in other words, an array which is already sorted. So let me just create an array. So array name or ARR is equal to np dot array, and I have to pass a sorted Python list to it. So let the elements be one to ten. Close the brackets and hit enter. Now let's find the index at which value 7 is present. So I have to create a variable to store the value. So it can't be ARR, it has to be some other thing. So x is equal to np dot search sorted and I'm going to pass the array name and the value. So I have to print x. So the result is 6. It indicates that the value 7 is present at the index 6. Now let's search for a value that is not present in the array. So I have to write x is equal to np dot search sorted. I have to pass the array name as well as sorry the array name is arr. So I have to change it to arr. So I have passed 12 which is not a value at the index. So I'm going to print x. So the result is 10, which is a little ambiguous because there is no index 10 and there's no value 12. Let's try one more time. So I'm going to write 130 this time and I'm going to print x again. So again, I got the result as 10, which is the number of elements present in array and it's little ambiguous because there is no index then we have indexes from one to nine. So I think when there is a value which is not present in the array, it gives the number of elements present in the array as the result and not the index or empty. 
less so let's search from the right side so in previous example the indexes were counted from the left now let's count the indexes from right now let's create a new array and elements are three four five and six so i'm going to write x is equal to np dot search sorted this time i'm going to pass the array name the element to be searched and also the side so the side is right so hit enter and i'm going to print x so the result is 2 but note that this is not the negative indexing from right because generally we prefer to do negative indexing from right so one thing that we need to observe is here the element is present at index 2 if we do positive indexing from right that is we considered 6 at 0 to index 5 at first index and 4 at second index and so on now let's search for multiple values so till now we searched one value at a time but now we are going to search for multiple values at once so let's print the array first so array is 3 4 5 6 and i'm going to write x is equal to np dot search sorted and i'm going to pass the array name arr and i'm going to pass the list of values for searching so i've passed the list of values and i'm going to print x so it denotes that the values 4 and 5 are present at the indexes 1 and 2 one thing to note here is here instead of returning a single index it returns a list of indices corresponding to the values or the search values or we can say that the values entered Now let's move on to the next example, which is in the form of a question. So the question is, for an array given as 1, 3, 2, 1, 5, 32, 53, 21, 67, We need to search the location of element or element 2 using search sorted method. So this is the question. Now let's move on to the solution. First of all, the important thing to note here is that since the array is not sorted, we have to sort it first because if we use the search sorted method, it performs the binary search and for the binary search, we need a sorted array. So since the array is not sorted, we need to sort it after creating and then search sorted method so these are the steps to approach the solution so first of all we have to create the array so array name is x this time so x is equal to np dot array and i have to pass the list of elements given in the question so i have passed the list of elements and i have created the array successfully now second step is to sort the array using the sort method as already discussed in previous lectures 
so if you are not acquainted with it please go through the previous lecture another thing to note here is that i have not sorted it i just displayed the result after sorting i have to sort and store the result so if i don't do that and directly use the search sorted method i will get ambiguous results or error so let's see what if i just sort it and display the result but not actually store the sorted result so after printing u i get the result as one but two is present at the location two and three so the result is wrong so the correct way to do it is i have to store the result of the sorted array so there is a mistake here there were no changes made to the original array so what i have observed is many students just display the result of after sorting and they not don't actually make the changes to the original array or store it in another variable so this is a very common mistake please take care of this while doing any project or during your exam so now i have stored the result in a variable y and now i'm going to use the search sorted method again so i'm going to print the value of u so it returns me the index 2 because 2 is present at the index it is the desired result so in today's lecture we covered the search sorted method for searching in a numpy array that will be all for today this video is brought to you by programming knowledge please like comment share subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and please stay tuned with us for next lecture thank you